Charles Darwin published on the origin of species, which include the misquoted line, Survival of the Fittest. Herbert e. Spencer was the 19th century philosopher and social idealist. Today we will study the true definition of this quote and how Herbert e. Spencer applied this concept in example of social Darwinism. Herbert e. Spencer was known to be a strong supporter of Charles Darwin or let's say Charles Mayer. According to Herbert Spencer, social Darwinism is the application of one interpretation of the law of evolution. Those who succeed in society were superior to those who did not succeed, as you can see in the image. In the mind of the radical social Darwinist, to be successful in ratless at business was no different than a tiger killing for food. It was the way of the world. Those who failed to succeed in business were considered unfit and it was reasoned and should be treated as such. On my own point of view about the phrase survival of the fittest, I think it depends on how the reader understands the phrase. As for me, the fittest are rarely the strong. The fittest are those who endowed with the qualification for adoption, the ability to accept the inevitable in conform to the unavoidable, to harmonize with existing of changing conditions, are the one who can survive. It is not about how strong are you to survive, to live, or to be successful, but how patience or how far can you go to survive. 